Good morning and welcome to my page. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Claremont, Florida. So I have a lot of clients relocate down from the north and a lot of them are starting their search online. Um, and that can be really awesome, but it's also a lot of information. Um, so I thought I'd make this little video. Um, so my grandma um, has been in Claremont for about 30 years, Mineola actually, which is a town right next to Claremont. Um, it is known for its rolling hills, its lakes, it's in Lake County. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Most of Florida is very flat uh, and Lake County has hills, which makes it you know, very, very unique. Um, there's a lot of new construction going on over there. A lot of communities that are coming in. So there's new developments um, community-wise. There's new restaurants, there's new shops, there's new Publix, uh, which is our grocery store down here, or like a primary one. Um, just so much is coming over there. Um, so much growth and you still get so much for your money um, compared to the North. Um, so based on uh, niche.com, which I love you referencing uh, niche.com because I feel like they do a really good job as well as city data. That's what I like to look at. Um, so uh, according to niche.com, Claremont ranked number one best place to live in Lake County. Um, and they look at schools, housing, so if it's good for families, what's the crime and safety, nightlife and diversity. Um, and then for schools, I always tell my people to look at greatschools.org. Um, just so you can see exactly what the school rankings are. Um, and another thing is, just if you're relocating from another area, a seven and a seven in two different states don't necessarily mean the same thing. So dive in deeper and really go and look, you know, why, how is it ranking this? Because they're weighted differently in different states. I don't know the reasoning, but I just know it is from personal experience. Um, so in Claremont, the population is about 35,000. Um, I'm sure it's gone up because we've had so much new construction and so many people moving down here. Uh, the median home value is about 233000 A lot of those are going to be um, already built homes that were built maybe 20, 30 years ago, but there's so much new construction coming in. Like single family homes, I would say, are kind of starting more to the five to 600000 range. And townhomes, you know, you can get well below that, um, but there's a lot of new construction. Uh, the majority of people in Claremont own, so 71% own, and then there are 29, excuse me, rent. Uh, Lake County is a huge county, um, and again, it has beautiful lakes, it has hills, so it makes it really, really incredible. Um, again, according to niche.com, it's one of the most diverse suburbs in Florida. It ranked um, 114 out of 380. Um, another thing uh, to note, um, so again, the population is about 35, 38,000. It you know, continues to rise. Uh, there's so much to do uh, over in Lake County. So they have fishing, because obviously they have so many lakes. They had an adventure, so they have like off-roading, like you can rent little, um, I'm not sure what they're called. They're not Jeeps, but like a little, not a golfer. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but like dune buggy or something. Um, they have trails for that. Uh, there's golfing. Uh, there's Bella Colina. There's a lot of like gated little communities that are over there um, that are on golf resorts. It's really beautiful. There's Legends Golf golf club. So there's a lot of golfing over there as well. Uh, equestrian. So there's farms over there. There's horses, art and museums. There's entertainment. There's antiques. There's shopping. There's spas. So I mean, there's really a lot to do in Claremont. Um, and for how far are you from like the Orlando airport? You're probably about 45 minutes ish. You're about 23 miles from Disney, depending on traffic. Be a little bit, maybe a lot. Um, and you're still not far from like Winter Garden. Um, you're about 30 minutes from Winter Garden. Uh, Gotha, you're about like 28 minutes or so. Um, so you're really not too far. And then to go to Tampa, probably an hour and 45, two hours, depending on traffic. Um, and then also a really cool thing that just uh, got approved recently is Olympus. So it is an innovative 243 acre master plan community combining sports, wellness, entertainment, and residential development. Um, so it's really, it's it's a project and it's basically sphere, spearheading a wellness way area. Um, so it's basically just opening up so many things that are coming to, to Claremont. Um, and I can share, I can put a link to that um, article below from actually Claremont um, government website because it's just, it's bringing in so many new opportunities um, to Claremont. Um, it's having a limp, like, it's multi-sports competition training venue um, for professional athletes. So, I mean, it's just a really awesome thing to have in Claremont. Again, uh, it's, it's rural-ish. Um, there's so much community. There's so much, you know, things coming to the area. People really love being over there. I love going over there. Um, so if you have any questions about Claremont, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great one.